Hey guys, DV here. Got a video tutorial for you today detailing the process of creating a very basic, very simple effect, which is cloning your actors, pets, what have you, for your videos. Basically, all you're going to need is a camera, tripod, editor, um, which is a video editing software such as Vegas Pro or Adobe Premiere, and um, you're going to need a friend to help you. So basically, to get set up for the shot, you're going to set up your tripod and put your camera on top of the tripod, mount it on, and then what you're going to do is position your actor or pet, and in this case we're using just my dog, um, but you're going to position it in the first spot that you'd like, which would be layer one, and you'll press record on the camera. It's very important that you keep the shot locked down on the tripod as you go about repositioning your dog. You do not want to um, be touching the camera, zooming, adjusting any lighting or anything like that. You want to keep it locked down and recording the entire time, and then in the editor, we will be um, editing the clip into different parts. As you can see here in Vegas Pro, I've separated it into different layers. There's four different layers for the four positions that the dog is in on the stairs. Now I'm going to render out each one separately as a separate video clip, which will be a .mov file. What I'm going to do is go ahead and go through each one of these. So I have four clips to export. And the next step is going to be using FX Home Vision Lab Pro, FX Lab Pro, or uh, Composite Lab Pro to actually do the compositing and masking that will allow for this effect to look really good. So opening up uh, Vision Lab here, we're going to select our first uh, video clip layer and click OK once we have adjusted the settings. Then I'm going to go ahead and resize the canvas and open up the next three uh, clone layers here and just drag them onto the canvas and they'll show up on the timeline. Vision Lab is a great program because it combines both Effects Lab Pro and Composite Lab Pro into one usable and very convenient interface. So here I'm going to go to the top uh, layer 4 clip and select Garbage Mat. I'm going to drag the square off to the side here and cut out the parts of the video that I'm not going to be needing in um, this one particular layer. As you can see the parts that are red with different garbage mats will be replaced with the image um, that will be layered up from the other clips underneath. I'm sorry if this doesn't make a lot of sense, it's kind of difficult to explain, but you'll see what I mean as we go along. So here I've cut out basically the parts that I don't need for layer 4, because they'll be filled in by the layers 3, 2, and 1. So here I have layer 3, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to select a garbage mat, and basically cut out the parts that I do not need uh, for layer 3. Uh, something that's going to really help you is to go through the timeline as you go through and preview it. Make sure that you haven't cut out any part of your actor or dog or pet, whatever. Um, make sure they haven't moved into an area that would be part of what you've just cut out in the, the red garbage mat throughout the timeline. So here you can see the third dog has appeared, and we have layers uh, 4 and 3 uh, have garbage mats. And now we're going to put a garbage mat on layer 2 right off um, to the to the right there, which will allow for layer 4 to show through underneath. And basically, if you've done the effect right, kept it locked down on the tripod, haven't bumped the camera or changed the lighting, then this is going to be a really sellable effect, and you cannot see the different lines or sections of the video that define the layers. So now I've clicked out of all the layers, gone under grade, and I've selected a rather cool um, different type of grading effect which is called Cool Pro, the preset in Vision Lab. And I've adjusted the ambient colors and lighting here. I've also applied an additional ambient light uh, texture or grading to it and just lowered the red just a little bit. And it actually looks really good. You cannot see the lines, you cannot see the different layers, and the effect is actually very sellable. So basically this is something you can do in just a matter of minutes. If you have a friend it's much easier to get the dog especially if you're using a pet or a dog, um, to remain in one position and not be walking out of the camera shot. But again, it's um, of utmost importance that the lighting and the camera remain stationary and don't change, um, which is why I suggest leaving the tripod locked down and recording, and then simply um, s separating different layers uh, in post in your uh, editing software. So here I've gone ahead and rendered out using v Vision Lab into a MOV file and it's going to start rendering and the clip is going to be done. So thanks for watching guys. I hope the tutorial was helpful and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.